you know, get through all the process and tasted the, you know, blood of success, I guess. <laughs> so yes, he was the student, you know, who reached out to us, you know, uh, like me, and um, he joined along with his friend. I'm not sure if he's, um, his friend is joining along as well. But yes, he joined along with his friend and um, he took this training. He was, you know, very much frustrated with, you know, all the promises, you know, from the market and everything. And at the end of the day, you know, he just enrolled <clears throat> and gave his best, best shot, I would say. He was there, you know, he took the training, he practiced for long hours and um, he went through the training. He did wonderful in the training, to be honest. And he was always there, though he was a little bit quiet in the training. But yes, he was following what the instructors had to say. And at the end of the day, like he went through the market. And even in the marketing, he had to like, you know, go through a lot of, you know, stuff and interviews. But at the end of the day, you can see, you know, the big smile on his face <laughs> and uh, he got his job. He took his shot and he made the home run, I guess. <laughs> so perfect. So let me, you know, just uh, <clears throat> I'm just going to pass on the mic to Gab and if he can, you know, share his entire experience by himself uh, would be a pleasure to hear that. <clears throat> yes, Gab, you can take over. Uh, hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Gab, uh, and uh, I took a class in Metaja, and uh, I, I think about two months, and uh, we had a training. After the training, we have like a training for interviewing, and after that, they face the market. And in the market, I had like some interviews. I believe the first week of the interview is the, that I got the job. So, like, I'm here to answer your questions actually. So, if you guys are like following to learn and uh, listen to the instructor and do a lot of job, like work a lot, and you can succeed. Actually, my background is IT, <laughs> I was in the University of Maryland. and. Uh, I have taken like programming class, most of my programming and cybersecurity. It helped a lot. But training is also good. Like uh, when you graduate from the college, you cannot find like the best job and you cannot earn good money. Like uh, if you graduate like a new graduate, like you may get like from 60 to 70, like because you are a new employee and you have to like move up. But if you're training like Metaja, you will make like more money that as we get. So if you have questions, I am happy to answer for everybody. All right, Gab, if you allow me, I'll be the first one to ask the question. OK. <laughs> so I'm just curious to know what were your thoughts while you were, you know, like uh, talking with me in the first place and you enrolled. And since you told me that you had gone through, uh, you know, did your research with the, you know, training institutes available, you know, around DMV area, you know, what were your thoughts when you talked with me and when you finally got enrolled? Well, first of all, I heard from my friend. One of my friends told me uh, he training in Metaja and he placed a job as a Power BI. I never heard or I never know about Power BI before the, my friend told me. I said, what's Power BI? <laughs> told me Power BI like visualization because I know SRS before, but I never heard about Power BI. And how was that told him? He training for like for two months and he got a job like after three interview. And he asked me to try it. Why well, don't try it? Because you have some background, I said okay, and uh, I just call you and ask you, and he gave me all the information. I registered, and the training was like about two months, and uh, we had a lot of exercise. I was working for the exercise more. I spent more time on the exercises, and it was like a lot of SQL and uh, Power BI. So I manage it. <laughs> that's that's perfect so how would you see you know like if you can compare how you looked at the process uh you know through the phone conversation and we had you know like you know when you were explained the process this is how it looks you know how would you compare your experience like you know your thoughts during that time and now when you are you know standing at the you know 
finish line to get enter you know at the door to enter into the job and join you know join the client next week so now when you look back and see the process how would you compare both of the stuff like you know is it what you were told or stuff like that you know yeah uh first of they never missed the class which is very interesting and uh secondly is when they train us for the interview you never miss too interesting and when you come to interview also interesting you can call them at, at any time and you can ask them and they give you all the information what you want but the effort is yours yeah when you go for preparing interview you have to work a lot you have to know more scale and more power guy so most of the time they ask you a lot about the scale you have to know how to develop the you have to work more in SQL server you have to develop data you have to create you have to work more. I think there is equal. Yeah, you have to work. You got to work more in SQL Server, developing data, creating indexes, doing uh, store procedures, function, uh, CTS. A lot of this time is spend more on that. So most of my like when they interview me, so most of the questions from uh, SQL Server, Power BI, they didn't ask you too much questions. Yes, they ask you small question, but 80% of the work is from SQL Server. Everybody tell you, okay, you got to work with SQL Server. You have to be like more experienced with the scale and SSIS, like the reporting, the ETLs. So I spend more of my time on ETLs and developing data. So as I you guys promised us, it was interesting, but the effort is yours. You have to you have to put a lot of effort. Like the training is two months training. Like two months training may not be enough. You have to study more and more like uh, Power BI, SSIS, reporting service, SRS, and uh, SQL Server, how to develop the data, especially how to develop the data, what is the data, how to configure your data, and when you work like ETL, where you put like your data, how do you optimize your data? So I put a lot of effort. I studied like for two months all the time. So it was good. All right, <clears throat> perfect. And uh, how would you scale or how would you rate the uh, skills training? Like, you know, how good it does to, you know, to someone who is learning the technical aspect, you know, who is learning the technical skills and uh, how good along with the technical skills you get this interview preparations and everything. How, how, how would you rate it? you know, or how essential you think it is? Well, the interview is honestly to tell you hard. It's not easy. Everybody pro give you a promise. Sometimes you got, for example, uh, my first interview was like for Supru and I had interview for three days. It was a tough interview. And you feel like you got the job, but not true. And one day I got an interview for, from like four people for one and for one hour and 10 minutes. One hour into ten, ten minute interview, they ask me a lot. They, I was answering everything, but what I was missing is like uh, the final point was like they repeatedly asked me for uh, Azure. Do you know Azure? Do you know Azure? Do you know Azure? But finally, after two interview, I didn't pass. So doing interviewing is is not easy. Some of them is easy, but most of them is very very hard. You have to because you have to study a lot and. Uh, Interview question is most of them they are similar. The first interview, the second, and the third is like you learn yourself from the interview more. Because most of the interviews the same question. They ask you most people they ask you the same question. Like if you even have a record for the interview and keep for the next interview, it helps you a lot. So the interview, like you need to put more effort, especially in the database side. And uh, in Power BI, if you know, like uh, I don't know, you guys are new. But they will teach you how to create the visualizations and uh, modeling. Most of the time, like from modeling, if you know more modeling, statics put a lot of effort on modeling. The modeling link can help you a lot. And the, like transformation also like cleaning, when you clean and model, it helps you a lot. So more effort on modeling because you see modeling and database and you see modeling in Power BI. So most of the questions they come from modeling. So the interview, like little bit, some of them is easy interview, but the people they really need you put more effort. Do you know this? Do you know that? So, 
even though you don't know ask this tell the right one okay i know i will know this one i don't know but i will learn it i am humble for that so it was interesting and some of them difficult some of them are easy but at the end of the time you don't know who is hiring you but yeah exactly good. And the question from Metagia they gave us was interesting. Like they gave us for interviewing the final point about the Power BI. They are very helpful. This is them. You go to YouTube. So most of the questions they came from there for interviewing them. Uh, perfect. Uh, so like, okay, how did does uh, you know the skills uh, skills enhancement training or the interview preparations training from Metagia well, okay. did help you with this? Uh, you know with um, you know, presenting yourself on the interviews and stuff. Yeah, it helped a lot. It helped a lot. Like uh, when you learn, if you don't miss time, like if you they give you homework, if you finish your homework properly, that homework will help you to do a lot of research, basically. And if you do your homework, it helps a lot. But the homework is most important thing, like preparation. And they help if you want, like uh, if you need extra time, they give you extra time. If you have, can ask them a question, you ask them and they give you a lot of uh, time to ask a question and they answer it. So the preparation is like technical and you have to add more so theory. They teach you more technical and theoretical, you have to add more research. Perfect. <clears throat> Perfect. So like, uh, you know, OK, this is all the good stuff that you talked about. Tell me, you know, yeah, tell me, tell me what were the difficulties, you know, that you thought it was, you know, during your, you know, like first interview or how was your first interview experience? Well, the interview, the interview training helped a lot. It really feel a lot. So you don't know who is hiring you, don't scare, that's it. You don't have to scare for the interview because you don't know is he's hiring you or is not any time for interview just relax they explain everything even when they interview they explain everything what they need you what they hire you like they explain for themselves like even like two three minutes and they preparing you after that like you have to they teach you how to interview yourself that's the most important thing and i was following that and i was adding from youtube some interviews too but an interview i never scared so it was fine all right that's that's great so guys uh please do ask questions gav is here for us <laughs> i i feel like i'm the only one who's asking him out um maybe he's gonna get tired from me yeah all right um hi everyone um congratulations gav for, for thank you thank you again yeah and uh yeah when this is the first time i see you yeah, nice to meet you. And nice. hi, uh, yeah. So, um, Gabe, my question for you is, uh, how how did you prepare for the interview? Every time you have an um, uh, interview, how did you prepare? You know, from what what resource did you use you know, for to prepare for your interviews? And another question is, uh, how long you took before you take uh, your first interview? Okay, how I pick was like uh, for interview, I was prepared earlier. Uh, I use a lot of source. I have books. I bought 10 books of Power BI. And uh, I have books from my school about database, SQL servers. And uh, I use Udemy, a lot of Udemy. Mm -hmm. And I use pragma pragmatic work. Even most of my question was like from pragmatic work. <laughs> Everything like pragmatic work teach you like step by step. You have to pay now, you have to ask, right? I think you have to pay like about 600 for one subscription. I bought it and I, as I said, I bought 10 books, different kind of books for Power BI, like for how do you create visualization for insurance, for sales, for marketing, for human resource, for accounting, like each individual. So. I use that for my studying. And I add Metagia, so all the source helping me for my interview. And uh, I wasn't ready for interview, actually, as I told you. I didn't start as, as soon as I finish. I didn't start my interview because I have to work. And uh, I have some 
unconditional thing is the middle. So I wasn't like, I stopped for almost a month, something. But as far as when I start my interview, when I, I was ready, I told them I'm ready now. And uh, I got into like for the first week, like two times a day, one times a day. Oh. And uh, I got many second interviews. And this interview might just offer that I got, I think, in the second, the second week. Yeah, in my second week, I got the offer from my second week. Wow. But effort is required, <laughs> a lot of effort. Yeah, as I said, especially if you guys subscribe for pragmatic work, it helps a lot. You have everything there. You have Power BI, you have SQL, SSIS, SRS, everything. Like for Power BI, I think about like 48 hours. And like they got break by break. And another staff for SQL is about 60 hours. So if you finish that, I'm 100% will succeed because the question is there, the answer is there. You, you mean in, interview, most of interview questions? Because you learn a lot from there, not in theory, but they teach you very good. Like when they teach you, if you listen to that one, it's very interesting. Help us. When they ask you, somebody come to interview you, is that one. Even so, you can find it, I think, in YouTube, but it's in a small, pragmatic work. Yeah, that's what we've been uh, using yeah. Yeah. and Udemy. Yeah. If you subscribe it, if you, sub, if you have subscription, I think 600 or 700, if you have like subscription for that, it help you a lot too. Yeah, they teach you and they teach you add up yourself. Wow, that's good to know. That's like the YouTube okay. kind of YouTube. That's good to know. Perfect, uh, perfect. So everyone is getting like so, you know, so benefit and so knowledge from, you know, like uh, Gab's experience already. So like Gab, uh, one more one more question from my end, like <clears throat> how did you felt when, you know, like you had your interviews and, you know, you were, you know, appearing for the interviews and didn't go well or didn't pan out how you expected, you know, what were your, you know, thoughts about it or what what did you felt, you know, when something you were expecting some good news, but you know, it didn't pan out. Yeah, as I said, um, inter I don't know, as I said, I, you don't know who's hiring you. And when you have interview, you have to be happy all the time. When the interview, you have to be smile yourself. And uh, I wouldn't expect to get who is hiring me, I don't know. But you have interview a lot. And uh, what I felt is every time when I finish, I if I made something, I'm going to correct it. Even though you know sometimes you miss it. So the first thing, like comfort, like uh, preparation, like when you, before you start interviewing, you're like you rehearse yourself, talk yourself. I sometimes, uh, I talk to myself in, the, <laughs> in my mirror. I stand in front of my mirror and I talk to myself. And when I talk to myself, I find some wrong and because uh, I record it, I listen to it and I go back, I record it, I listen to it. So it helped a lot. So. Mm -hmm. I don't feel nothing after the interview. I, I always feel like comfort, so I don't mind. But because I know, I don't know who's hiring me. I expect, but he expects sometimes he feel like he gets the job. Sometimes turn false, you know. Especially this time, they ask about the cloud, Azure. Most of them they ask you. If you put like five, four hours in Azure, it's okay to help help a lot. Perfect. So what made you kept going? I don't understand what do you mean. What made you kept going? Like, you know, like every day you wake up, you know, you have two interviews lined up, but still, you know, there is nothing going on, you know, for a week or two, something like that. Nothing's panning out. What what actually made you kept going? You know, because you feel a lot of interviews, right? I mean, you took like 15 of them, I think. And you, you you got a lot of failures. The question is, what made you like, you know, what were you telling yourself? You know, I, you know, I need to get it. That's what the question was actually was trying to ask. Uh, what I think is like, as as I said, when I have interviews, the first week is I never even like I told like I got a job because when they interview me, I I took my lesson from my first week interview. And that second interview, I started like uh, when I have an interview, sometimes uh, I just rehearse myself because I started the, like before one day. And when I have an interview, I just revise the uh, things by just talking to myself, not watching uh, YouTube or not reading, just talking to myself by myself. 
So it helped me with that one. But the interview was like, really sometimes, you know, the, the questions they ask you, you answer everything though, even if they ask, they answer all the questions. But you don't know, maybe the kind of, like the way you speak, maybe your accent, maybe, I don't know. You don't get that job, so I don't feel anything. I feel like comfort all the time. Perfect, man. Perfect. I have two questions for you again, uh, Gabe. Uh, my first question is, you know, how do you handle or answer when you ask it, you know, something that you're not sure or you don't know about? And the second question is, uh, how long, once you transfer from Itaja to IT Park, how long it took you to take the first interview because there is a process obviously you know to back and forth deal with the uh for, i mean uh, what is that pass it part how long it took before you took the first interview yeah okay sorry uh, if they ask me a question which i didn't know it i tell them i'm sorry i didn't know the question i tell them honestly okay i don't i don't want to answer a question which i didn't know you know, I got questions like they ask me many questions you don't know. For example, some of them last time I was asked about do you know R script? I don't know R script. He asked me again, do you know Python? I told him yes, I know Python, I learned in school. But I never working in Python, but I learned in school. I know how to automate automation with uh, even with Power BI, but it's tough. I said no, I don't. And that guy he's, he has a PhD in computer science. Oh. And a lot of questions, yeah. Ask me a lot of questions, a lot. Like school, I, I was in me and you, you remember, like about forty-five minutes. He spent a lot of time. He was asking me. He left from even from school to the school. He asked me about my school. He asked me a lot of like Java, JavaScript, a lot, a lot of questions. Finally, he said, "This time is very hard." <laughs> Tell me, this time it's very hard to interview people. I said, "Okay," and he told me, "I will." Come back after next week or something. Maybe you will come next week. I don't know. And uh, from Ataja, two months for training, one month for uh, interview, like training to be interviewed. And after that, I wasn't ready for the interview. I have to read a, something. But after I start interviewing, after two weeks, I get the job. So how long did it take you before, once you transfer to IT part? How long it took you before before you take oh, the first immediately. Huh? It transferred immediately. No, no, after transfer, how long it took you to get the first interview? Yeah, as I said, I took one month. Okay. But you know, uh, yeah. Yeah, I took the whole January. Hmm. And something from, I think the whole January I was studying and uh, because I have to work and study now. You cannot. But the main thing is, before you come to interview, what I would like to tell you is, when you like teach the class, is preparation start from first day. That's the most important thing. Like if you have from, if you come from IT background, you can catch up, but. Some people, if you don't have like IT, have to start from the first day of the class is most important. As I said, I have IT background, uh, like uh, it helped me a lot, the IT background helped me a lot, but as I said, Power BI, I never read about Power BI, and I never learned like SSIS in school. We learned programming of a SQL server, but never SSIS, and never SRS. So when you come, if you start day one for the year, like, Studying a lot, it helps you a lot. But most important, you have to have a book. Buy a book. Book is important. Yes. So, guys, anybody else you know who might have any questions, please do ask. Hey, I got a question. Is that Maza on the call? I just saw Maza. Is that her? Maza? Yes. yes. Mazo, are you there? Is that her? Or somebody yes, else? that's uh, that's her. Okay, I'm not, not sure. Yeah. Uh, 
Yeah. Okay. She's our old student actually, and uh, she's working in SharePoint. So she's here. So I'm like, <laughs> if she is, if she is, if she's here, I'm gonna put her on the spot too. Uh, I'm like, let's talk. Yes, let's talk. Me. Hey, Marla, yes, I'm here. Yes, hey, I'm hey. here. <laughs> hey, how are you, Maza? Good, good. How are you, sir? Good. Uh, are you the our old student in SharePoint? Is that you or somebody else? No, that's me. Oh, you not? That's not you. Okay, somebody else. Okay, because she got the same name and. Uh, okay, no problem. Perfect, perfect. No problem. Go ahead. I thought that was her, so I'm like, let me just put her on the spot too. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Sure, no problem. Go ahead, guys. But um, I can't talk about this. I'm I talk just I'm listening to you guys. Sorry. Yeah, it's okay. You can uh, you can be still be in the call uh, and you can listen. And if you have any any questions, please do ask. And sure, sure, yes. okay, thank you. Yes, and everybody else as well. I can see Abraham, Kidist, you know, Masrath, Elsa. Everyone, please come up. You know, and if you have any questions, Gab is here, and we are here. You asked all the questions that I had, uh, Yavin. So. I'm oh, thinking, I'm sorry. I'm thinking <laughs> for <my> other <laughs> so for I have a question actually. If you guys don't have a question, um, Gab, a uh, quick question for you, my friend. Uh, where do you live right now? Right now, I am Nelson, near Virginia. Okay, and uh, you got the job where? Yeah. You got the job where? What is the location for your job? <laughs> Miami. Miami, right? So. Guys, so Gab is actually moving right next to me in Florida. Uh, it's not a remote job, but he, he's taking his chances. That's how it works. So he actually going to, you better see me on Saturday, man, because you're going to go from here on 95. I live on 95. So please stop by. <laughs> we'll head up for lunch or something here. Uh, right? So guys, you have to be open to change your life, and you have to do whatever it takes to change your life. I mean, special financial life. So he's living in Silver Spring. And it was moving to Miami, like five hours from here. So Saturday, we actually going to meet up and stuff uh, here. So, you know, that's that's how it works. So anybody else has questions? Salem, Salem, hey, you there? I'm sure you have questions. Because last time we met, you were saying that I wanted to ask so many questions. So please ask. This is the right time to ask questions. Uh, yes, I'm here. All right, yes, go I'm ahead. Here. <laughs> okay, congratulations, uh, Gab. Thank you. Uh, okay, uh, so uh, most of my questions uh, got answered by um, you. So, uh, but um, if you can, uh, if you can share uh, uh, interview questions that you uh, have asked by interviewer, it would be um, uh, very helpful for us. And as you mentioned. Uh, <clears throat> most of the question comes from uh, came from um, a SQL and uh, also Azure. <clears throat> so uh, if you if you uh, tell us a little bit more about that, it would be helpful. Thank you. Okay, uh, most of the question, honestly, they ask me from everywhere. Every interview ask different questions. But as I said, they most of like I had the interview, they need me to know more in the SQL Server. And some of them, they would like to know like performance. Some of them, they would like to know like function. How do you create function? How do you create cases? For example, one day from Bank of America, I had an interview and they bring me like cases question. I couldn't answer that. It's a very difficult question, like simultaneous equation question. Like learn mathematics simultaneous equation. Like bring me like about half a page, read that and ask okay, like read, work it and like in 30 minutes, even though I don't really understand, I said, I'm sorry, I don't. It's for Bank of America. And how about the good question? You talk about the bad experience that you had with Mark. Yeah, uh, yeah, with yeah. Let's, let's talk about the good experience that you had. I would tell, <laughs> no, I would tell. Then when you come, most of the time was uh, asking me, what do you do? Like I, ex I explained briefly what I do because I know what to speak and I explain them. And from most of the time they ask me the question is from what they say to them and from your like resume. Some of them they like they just show your resume and they ask you each and each individual questions from your resume. 
like space to know like what you have in your resume. And uh, most of the questions they ask me like from Power BI, from SQL, they ask you how do you create visualization? What did after visualization? How did the report? And how many projects you have done before? What was your project? How many people were participating in your project? And what kind of project do you have? And do you like report to your manager or to the client? So you cannot say I report to my client. I said I report to my manager. And uh, what was the difficult time? Like what was your difficulty to solve your like report? Have you had like problems with your report? And uh, where is like what difficulty you got during your like reporting? And they ask you sometimes like uh, about like uh, where is like where do you know more and where you don't know more, and what percent you know your job like are you like comfortable like they give you a range from one to ten so then you give them mostly I give them like from sometimes in SQL I give them like mostly eight like I never give them above eight because if you like tell them ten you are like the most professional <laughs> and they expect you that. So what so, I'm thinking about myself. So eight, eight point five, seven. Sometimes, you know, depends on the interviewer. So most so, of them like what they do. The most question is what they do. How was your project? How long does it take? And how many people in your uh, like in your team? And uh, they ask me about performance in Power BI, and they have in Power BI service about uh, data refreshing. How often do you refresh your data? And are you responsible in refreshing the data? And your role also, what is your role in your team? Like most of the questions I ask you, most of the questions is not so difficult. Like, it's not, they don't ask you, most of them, they don't ask you a lot of difficult questions. Like, they, I think they want to know your, like, how do you convert your conversation? You might, they think, exactly. like, yeah, they ask you how do you communicate. That's the most question, how do you communicate with them? Exactly. Yeah. That's what I was. That's yeah. what I was telling you, Salam, the other day, right? The good interviews you will have. How many good interviews did you have, um, Gap? How many good interviews did you have, like out of fifteen, the one you were talking about? Yeah, most of them are good. Like, See? good interviews are there, but shitty interviews are there too. Just like Bank of America issue, they are they go in deep, and they are really good interviews. They just want to know you. If yeah, you present be. yourself, then that's how it's going to be. But, uh, and, uh, you know, most uh, whenever there is a good interview, what happens is they're going to ask you from your answer. So let's say they ask you, what is Power BI? You start from Power BI, but you end it where you are really good at. So the next question is going to be from here where you're good at. But if you end it here, say, I don't know anything about Power BI. So the next question is going to be from here because you say that you don't know. So they want to know what you don't know. So you start from here, but you end where you are really good at. So from here, the next question is going to come. You're just going to talk. So good interviews, they just want to talk to you. <laughs> that's it. They don't be scared. And that's how, that's what you did, Gab, right? I guess? Yeah. Uh, the interview, most of them, they are very good, you know. Like, <laughs> you see teachers, there are some of them, even they didn't, but mostly, like, most of the questions are like they focus, they focus how do you interact with them? How do you communicate with them? Even some of them, they didn't ask you technical questions. They came and I will not ask you technical questions. Like just answer my question, just answer only. But some of them also again, they focus on technical. But mostly they didn't ask you technical. Because even though you go there, they know when you go there, they will teach you something. They will give you all the like necessary resource. But they focus how we interact, how we answer the questions. Okay, exactly. So because right. they want you to be part of the family. That's what happens. So most of the interviews, not I wouldn't say most of some interviews, right? They never going to ask you what is technical questions. Actually, sometimes this happens. They don't ask you a technical question. They just want to. They just want to see you that you be a part of the family or not. Yeah. But if you say that I cannot be part of the family, I cannot be part of the culture, and I'm just going to talk about my knowledge, then they will ask you for your knowledge. But if you present yourself like, you know, I'm, I'm the part of the family, then that's all they care about. So they are their kind of interviews also. So I like those interviews, actually. Go ahead, Abraham. Hi, Gab. Uh, congrats again. Thank you. Thank you. 
Yeah, so um, did you have any uh, soft skill um, in, in the interview process? Were there any questions that focused on your soft skills, like your leadership skills, your skills to resolve conflicts or teamwork and collaboration and things like that? Well, in that, in the, they never asked me about that. <laughs> Sometimes they ask, do you like teamwork? Does he ask you? I said, yeah, I love teamwork. Actually, because I work in a hotel as a guest service, it helped me a lot. I was inter I have been interacting with many people every day, like different people with different backgrounds. So they didn't and, ask you but, to tell them scenarios where you had to handle conflict and things like that. Yeah, I never asked about that. Nobody asked me, but I think that one is from HR. Most of the time, they ask the HR questions. So. Most of the my question were like from the directors, higher managers. Okay. And uh, yeah, HRS, one day I was in Subaru, she was uh, coming and asked me, we have like, we had a lot of things, we have big buildings, and uh, how do you interact with people? Are you comfortable with people? Yeah, always, definitely. And uh, do you like to help by people? Do you want to help us? What do you want to help? How do you interact with the people? And uh, like, as they ask, they ask you, but most of the time I was asked by hiring directors, managers, and technicalists, never been asked by manager. Even though they came to the HR with them, like four, five people, into some, like three, four people they ask you, but the HR, they just focus. You will work this, you go and work with them, people, you will do this one with the one. They didn't ask, they don't give like hard time. Honestly, tell the truth. they do not give you hard time. They just, the question is very, very simple. If you don't scare, if you like, Talk with them properly, and if you know we're like plus, and if you know what Mitaja gave you, like the interview, they will teach out the interview, and they will give the class. If you know that one, it's very helpful. You don't have to go further. Like, of course, you have to read a lot, but they don't give an interview. They don't give a really difficult question. They just interact with you. They follow what he said, and they ask you from what he said. They ask you, okay, tell us what you know. You give them what you know, everything. And based on, based on that, they ask a question is, how do you solve this one? What do you do here? How you guys solve this one? So basically, they don't give you hard time. Interview is nice and simple. Cool. Did most of the interviews go in stages, like uh, initially a general kind of interview, and then did they go uh, to a more technical aspect with another set of people? Well, they came three, four people, sometimes four, sometimes three, sometimes two, sometimes one. They have their own, like one, like sometimes especially uh, for like different managers. Maybe one is for like SQL Server, one is for SIS, one is for SSIR, one is for Core PI. Each part is ask you like step by step. For example, who works in the SQL Server, ask a question, you answer that one, and when you finish, you let you go to the other guy, and then step by step. They don't mix the questions like, they focus only one point, then the second point. Got it. No, thank you. It's one more question here. Did you ever ask, like, you know, uh, to write a query or, you know, expression, docs, anything? Have you ever asked, you know, a question like that? Like, well, I was asked, they ask you to, write, they don't ask you, one day they ask me in Power BI to write a docs, like time intelligency. That's the only one, but they ask you a skill, yeah. Most of them definitely ask you a skill. Like they give you, you have to like, uh, can you chain or can you retrieve data? For example, they will ask you, like, who's, they give you like salaries, and they ask you who's the highest salary, who got the highest salary, and who got makes like a second high salary. And they give you like to order your data, how to sort your data. And they ask you like technical question to join your data. Like, you will learn like, right, left, join, inner join. They ask you this question is. Practical. I'm sorry, yeah. Practical. They ask you, yeah. Okay. All right. They ask, they ask you, Power BI, they just ask you like, because even in Power BI, practically is DAX on DAX, you can create like measure table, calculate measure, calculate table, and the calculate column, you have only three. That's simple. But they ask you questions in Power BI, they just ask you only questions. They don't have many technicalities in Power BI. Because visualization, they cannot ask you to do visualization, it takes time. 
you can add it one minute to minute. Then in SQL, they ask you how to retrieve the data. You have to retrieve the data, they give you like two, three tables, and they ask you, can you gain this one with that? You can do that one. And sometimes can you create like order? So, but they ask you simple questions. They don't give you a hard time. They don't give like difficult questions. Like if you know, you don't have to go even know a lot of about function, about like CTE, like how to retrieve, how to gain. That's simple questions they ask you. But as I said, they would like to know how do you interact? How do you handle the job? What do you do with this time? Who was your, what do you do with your manager? How do you report? Uh, how is your data running? Do you like, how is your like performance? Is your data is performing well? Do you get like fail? If your data is failed, what do you do? Like if you have big data, if your data is not running, what do you this time? How do you involve? Do you, yourself, do you solve the problem by yourself? How long does it take you? Just this technical question, they ask you a simple question. Okay, one more question. Uh, how important was the role of your LinkedIn uh, profile? Did you have one uh, when you applied for the job, by the way? Um, and um, how many years of experience? I don't know if it's too personal, but uh, you know, if you don't have prior experience of working on Power BI or SQL Server, uh, you know, uh, how many years did you um, tell them you have experience of? Well, if you're uncomfortable, you, you can no, I'm, comfortable. I'm comfortable. I have the resume. They ask me based on my resume. Okay. I do not have LinkedIn to tell the truth. Okay. <laughs> I just open LinkedIn. Okay. And they don't follow my LinkedIn. They don't care about the LinkedIn. Even sometimes they don't care how many experience they have. They care how do you communicate, how do you interact, how do you know your job? Okay. What is your like strengths? What is your weakness? That they would like to know. Okay. You know, most of the people they will hire you and uh, they will train some of them. When you're going to buy it, like, do this immediately. Like, but knowing from Matacha, they will teach you everything and if you learn that one step by step, so it's perfect enough. Now, who was your trainer, uh, Gab? Danny. Oh, it was Danny. I'm sorry. Yeah, that was Ravi. He's Danny's guy. Abraham, this is Danny's guy. Not That's Ravi's fine. Guy. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was, uh, you know, perfect, perfect. I know. Uh, we know you have uh, many capable instructors, so. <laughs> yes, <laughs> so, yeah, this is uh, perfect. Um, Anybody else has questions? I see a lot of people actually. I see Misrad, Maza, Salam, Biruk, Sam, Betty. Is that Betty Lamesa or Tasma? Who's on the call? Betty? I have a question. Uh, who is this? Elsa. Elsa, Elsa. yes, go. Hey, Elsa, how's it going? Hey, guys. Good, how are you? Good. Um, um, so I don't have any IT background and I'm I'm thinking about taking the training. Um, what what do you think in terms of the training? Yeah, it's interesting. The training is very interesting. They will teach you a lot of technical questions, most of the time technical. So if you like, if you have like Udemy account, in Udemy, you will find a lot of SQL and Power BI. That's helped a lot. I think I'm not I'm not gonna lie. Um, a lot of the things that you talked about, I didn't know anything about. So I'm I'm pretty new, and so yeah, yeah. I'm a little scared. But you know, um, you hearing your success story made me feel better. Um, and yeah, I'm, it's a completely different field than what I do now. So, um, and I heard it from one of my friends too. So, um, I guess what do you, what are what would you think would be the most difficult for for someone who has no IT background? Well, I would say it depends. I have a friend, my friend, that says who recommended me. He doesn't okay. know. I, the friend who recommended me to Metaja, he's from public health. He came from public health to Metaja. And he got a job in his third interview. Yeah. Third interview. That's awesome. He was the one who recommended me. And okay. like, he referred, like, for example, I came from accounting to IT. First time, like, it's difficult to understand that. 
it's like heavy because he adapted with I was adapted with accounting and when I go to IT it was difficult for me but through time like from day to day if you put a lot of effort it's very helpful as I said my friend is from public health public health and IT is completely different they didn't have even one IT class but he got a job in three interviews that's amazing yeah I know you talked about some of the some books and some uh, subscriptions. Are you able to, um, you know, maybe come up with a list that you recommend that you can give to Yavin Duran that you could share with the team? Yeah, I will possible? share Duran. I will give Duran the books okay. that I had, and uh, I don't know if they are here. Okay, here's the here's the thing else. Uh, this is Duran. One second. Uh, that's fine. Go ahead. Um, so this is what happens, right? Uh, I actually spend long time in IT myself. Um, more you l read, that's better for you. So you know, IT is all all about practice. You could pra so anytime you see a pra uh, anytime you see a problem, what you gotta do, you gotta go in Google. Google and YouTube are gonna be your friends, because you know this technology been around for the last thirty years. So it's a uh, no one knows everything, but you know more you study. Is better for you so we will find you a way to uh, we will help you take the first step but to walk jump and fall and all that it's on you so you know yes because that's how it should be because we don't do the work for people we make you do the work and <laughs> that's what the training is all about we'll make you do the work and uh, you will be like oh i'm not getting this oh i'm not getting this then you come to me and i'll tell you exactly the same thing did you google did you youtube did you spend four or five hours in study and if the answer is no, then I'm like, no, but then go back, then do it, then call me. <laughs> that's what I'm going to tell you. That's what I'm going to tell you because okay. I have people on the call right now. That's what I tell them all the time because this is what you got to do. If you don't, because we teach you for about an hour every day, one hour. So we'll teach you how to take the first step, but then we expect you to fall. We expect you to jump and do all that for four or five hours a day. So meaning practice and practice and practice. So if you do that, if you just stick around for like a couple of months, you're going to be set. But I have people who are not set, you know, they don't practice. They don't do anything. They just, so, uh, you know, Gab is the guy who really worked hard. I have, we have so many people actually, whoever worked hard, they do get what they're looking for. And uh, Gab is the guy, he's here. He's the man of the day. That's why he's here. <laughs> and as far as he, his background, as far as my background goes, let's talk about that. I'm a finance major, actually, but I was able to hit it uh, in a couple of interviews. And I did it for a long time for eight different companies. And, uh, you know, Gab is starting. It, it's the first day on Monday. So, you know, I'm sure he's going to do a wonders. So that's, <laughs> that's what it is. Uh, any more questions? Everybody, please. Okay, let me show you my book. Oh, no. uh, first, I have, it has like five volume. Volume one, volume two is like five volume for a square server. And this is my DAX, only for DAX. Yes, for DAX. And this one is the whole Power BI. It has everything, but I use a lot. I use it a lot. <laughs> So let's talk about the books that he, he showed us. Uh, thank you, Gab. The but first book. I will. The, I, look, uh -huh. especially with DAXs, is so mm -hmm. interesting. When even though it starts working, it helps a lot. Yes. DAXs, yeah. This whole page is DAXs. So the first book he showed us was uh, Microsoft SQL Server 2012. In the market, it's uh, right now is 2016 and also 2019, right? Is the same, no difference at all. Yes. So, you know. Technology changes every year and there, but it's almost the same thing. So, you know, you, more you study is better for you. Go ahead. The only difference is, like when you download the SQL Server, that's the only difference. Like, they add one, but the book is the same. Even though it's it old book, new book is the same. They didn't have no difference. Exactly. So product, uh, so product, so this is how Microsoft works, right? They evolve with the time, little by little they evolve. So uh, any product they're going to put in, they're going to change a little bit, little bit, little bit, and then they'll change the whole thing. So it takes like long time because when I was SharePoint, you know, they started in 2003. They changed the whole thing in 2021, but it took them 20, 20 years. So they just add little stuff every time. 
you know that's how they make the money <laughs> so yes guys any more questions please one more question yes how was your interaction with the the it path you know are they pushy or rush you or understand how, how 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 was your interaction with them nobody pushed me oh okay it's very helpful i don't all right yeah yeah, the only the reason I'm asking you is, you know, you know, me personally, I just need, you know, I just want to be, you know, really ready before I go on, you know, the interview. But at the same time, you know. Well, it's tough interview, like if you give three, four, five, honestly I'll tell you. Sometimes one day, sometimes you give three interview, even I have to call off to work. Because I love I have to do the interview. Oh. Tell Bella, so. What time they have the game interview, I accept it. Like sometimes 5 p.m., sometimes 6 even. 6 wow. p.m. So I take it. Whatever so they give me, I take it. I don't say no, I just keep everything. So you don't know who's hiring you. So if you're doing all the interviews, good. Even though even though you work, like it take like from your break to a minute, you can't do your interview by your phone. Oh, is that a phone interview usually? Or? Video. I use my computer, but I call off. I don't go to work. If I have like an interview, I call off. No, what I said is, you know, your interview is mostly phone interview or video interview, like Zoom or something. Uh, they give us through Microsoft link. Oh, okay, Microsoft. Some yes. of them, some of them is by Zoom. Some very few. Okay. Hi, Gib. Um. <laughs> I have a question here. So when you were applying, were they uh, asking you for your degree or um, how was that uh, process? I, I give them all my information, all my school from back home to here. So they ask me some of them about my school. I answer that question. So I provide myself, nobody ask about the actually they don't need the school. They don't need what school you have. They just want them the interview. They don't care about the school. Some of them even they tell you, okay, so because do you like? They just focus on, on their job. They don't care about which school you go. So one day I met one guy from my school actually. He just got graduated from University of Maryland. Okay, nice. And um, he asked, even he asked me the campus, which campus, which like which block he was. <laughs> So, yeah, they don't. Yeah, about, they don't really care. They just care about what do you do, how do you interact, do you know your job. Okay, so uh, at the beginning of um, uh, being uh, at the beginning, uh, did you did you get to give your um, um, documents to the um, to uh, IT Pathfinder or how does yeah. that work? Okay. Yeah, I give them my information. Okay, gotcha. Thank you. So, uh, Gab, uh, how many round does uh, each interview has, like from your experience? Some I got, most of them I got one, two, I think one, two, one day I think third interview. They just call me by phone. But most of them are two interview. I got two a lot. First interview, second interview. Like sometimes one guy asks you one like a little question, and they came the next day three or four people. So they have their own questions. They have because they came from di different department, and they ask you everything. Like when they work in one company, they work like some of them for like database, some of them for Power BI, some of them for reporting, and all of them they came and they ask you each individual question is from like. But do you know everything? Like uh, most of them, they ask actually. Easy question is not difficult. Mm -hmm. They are nice, smooth. They get explain about the job, and some of them even they answer the question for you. <laughs> so okay, one uh, one more last question. <laughs> so, <laughs> from your experience, like. Um, uh, which uh, subject should we uh, focus on, uh, like uh, when we uh, 
looking for when we are looking for a Power BI job like you. So which uh, subjects we should focus on like much? Okay, most of the people who interviewed me know SQL Server a lot. Okay, okay, thank you. So they asked me a lot from SQL Server. Most of the people who interviewed in Power BI, they didn't know too much about Power BI. Power BI is a new service. And that time they didn't ask you many questions. They asked you simple, simple questions and they answer that. But SQL, they, in SQL, they asked me like more questions. And uh, I start focusing even more questions in SQL and then Power BI. You know what the one thing is when you work in Power BI, mm -hmm. you have to know SQL because your data comes from SQL from different sources, like from SQL or from flat file. And you have to write some query in SQL. That's why they need it because when you like extract your data from SQL to Power BI, mm -hmm. like knowing the query, how to write the query, how to bring data from SQL to databases, like from to SQL to Power BI is so important. So they would like to know because they, they have to retrieve data from SQL to Power BI. Power BI helps you to visualize the data, but your data doesn't, Power BI doesn't hold data. SQL Server and flat files have the data. So that's the reason that you need to know about SQL Server. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Welcome. Because the reason behind this, right? The SQL been around for the last 30 years and Power BI is new and not a lot of people knows about it. So if they are really good with SQL Server, you start with SQL Server and you end your question with Power BI. And the next question is going to be from Power BI. Because, and you know, you are good at it, but they are not really, really good at it. So, you know, so end it here. That's what he was trying to say. Yes, yes, Biruk, you got a question? Yes. First of all, congrats, uh, Gabru. And uh, I, I know Meteja. And uh, my question is, tell me the truth, uh, how to the agreement and uh, how many months of the agreement and first after agreement finish and you lose the job, what happened? You help to a metaja or uh, any next step? And this is the first question. The second question, <clears throat> how many months you agreement is? Okay, Birk, that's uh, that's a personal question between you and me. Uh, if you have that question, we could talk it out outside. Okay, that's not between that's not between uh, Gab and you. So his agreement is between us. Okay. So please give me a call. Please set up a call. We'll talk it out. Okay. okay I call you. Thank sorry. You. Okay. Bye. Thank you. Bye. The argument. Sorry, I was. The argument. Okay, guys, can you hear me? Gab, Gab, you don't have to answer yes. the question. Yeah, yeah, that's why I want to say the agreement is there. Thank you. Okay. Anything, okay. Any, anybody else? Okay, is there anyone? Okay. So, uh, so uh, did they ask you like more about uh, definitions, something like that, or uh, you uh, like? What kind of question did they ask you? Like um, definition wise or uh, like um, scenario wise? Well, it's different. Some of them they ask you define definition, but mostly the scenario. Mm -hmm. Like, how do you do? How do you function? How does your power by workers? Because they ask, they would like to know about like performing. What do you do? But most of these scenarios, they didn't ask you what is that, what is this? Can you hear me? I think. Uh, yeah, we can yes, hear you. We hear you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, they ask scenarios, mostly they focus on scenario. Uh, and some of them they ask you, but in this case, they ask you question is, uh, can you tell me about like what joint is, how many joints do they have? Can you tell me what's index? Can you tell me what's the relationship? But mostly they ask you like scenarios. Mm -hmm. Like uh, what you do, what you can do, like how do you perform? Like your difficulty, where do you perform well? How do you handle your job? Are you comfortable with this? Like they ask you like kind of scenarios. They don't ask you like uh, just straight questions. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
All right. Um, I'm done with my question. Thank, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Uh, make sure you pack swimming shorts when we go to Miami. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> And that's uh, that's what I do every day here, actually, in Florida. Oh, one one last question, uh, Gab. So, uh, do you know, like, um, do you know before your interview? Do you know the location before you um, uh, you interview? Yeah, yeah. They give you the location in the remote, or you have to relocate. They give you that, like, okay, going for before your safari. interview. Yeah, you know, they give the location, like if you want to run local, they ask you. And if it's the remote, even they ask you, but they give you where they are, you know, where they live, what do they do, they give you all the information and what they need. So before you go to the interview, because it's, they send you all the information, if you read like what do they require, like they require to know something. Mm -hmm. And if you read based on that, it helps a lot. Okay, okay. Perfect, guys. It's time now. If you have more questions, I'm going to go one more last. I'm going to ask you one more time. Uh, this is uh, one last question we could ask because uh, he has to go. He has a party to go to. <laughs> then we have to let him go. Uh, so one more uh, one more question. Last question, please. Go ahead if anybody has a question. So I have a question, I guess, if you don't have a question, guys. Um, Gab, so do you think uh, the training that you took is enough to get you the job and what you are looking for? The four months of training and uh, the, you know, IT path or another thing that we give you, uh, meaning for the marketing. Do you think the whole process is enough to change your life within six months? Yeah, the whole process is more than enough to hold your right job. But effort is important. They teach you what they do. Like they give you all the information. And if you read like your book and if you do some like train yourself, it helps a lot. The training they give is all from there, like from SQL to Power BI. And I think uh, one month and something for SQL and about three weeks for Power BI is, Power BI is not too big, it's small. It's like you can finish it like in one, two weeks and easy to read too. Like if you know SQL is like very, Interesting. Power BI is interesting. It's not like it's not heavy. So more focus and as they give us, like they teach us, we like if you focus step by step is very helpful, is enough, but adding more effort, reading a lot about like special SQL. Like mm -hmm. programming is you can't forget easily. Even though you know it's today you have to, if you don't do it tomorrow, you forget it. Like I came my, as I said, my background is from programming. So we've been doing a lot of Java. Uh, C++, but I forget a lot. I have to read again to work. Exactly. So Perfect, man. Every day is enough. Yep. Perfect, man. So thank you so much for that, so guys. So we're going to try to have this, this kind of calls every week with webinars. Uh, we have so many people who got the job. So this week itself, yesterday, three people got a job. I'm not sure you guys know them. Amira, Angesam, and Arpit. Uh, so we're going to try to have this kind of calls every week. So, you know. You know, try to join the calls and we will try to have calls uh, during nighttime in future because I know most of you are available at nighttime, not daytime. So we're going to try to work it out from next time. So if you have more questions, you know, keep it on side for next guy to show up for the webinar because <laughs> we have a lot more, not just him. So, you know, we have a lot more. Like I say, last week, score got placed. He, uh, Gab got placed. This week, we got three more. So, you know, we have a lot of them are coming up. So, you know, you, so, you know, please write answers down. I'm um, going to write questions. I have questions and next time ask more questions. And uh, thank you so much, guys, for your time. And Gab, yeah, wish you all the best. Oh, thank, you, thank, you. Thank, you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Gab. Thank you, everybody else. And thank you so much for your time. Yeah, and you thank too. you so much for asking so much questions. <laughs> and Gab. Is that for me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Everyone. Anybody who okay. asks questions, you know, everybody else gets the benefit as well. So that is the reason, you know, yeah. if you ask questions, it's good. Mm -hmm. Thank you, guys. Bye. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Okay. Bye. Bye. Bye, Gab. Congratulations. Bye, 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 bye. Mm -hmm. Bye. -bye.